hello people you might think we're in a new aquaman movie but no it's not aquaman but it's also another go yeah after the week sponsored by pittsburgh federal credit union ryan huff puff and blow the houses down right so uh, first i want to say congratulations thank you you know this work you're probably gonna get a lot of these over the course of a few weeks so um first you're in the history books right you set yes, a record for the 200 free over this weekend right what does it mean to you to break a record at NAS and what school records are you in sight of? Um, it feels great. I've been trying to get this one for a little while now, around two seasons. So to do it at this point in the season when we still have around three months left feels really good. And then trying to also get a couple others, the 100 free record in both the school and the pool. So hopefully I can get those coming up soon in January. Well, Ryan, you don't got to worry about me doing this because I can't swim at all. All right. So... You swim in the fastest race of the meet. What goes through your mind as you prepare for such a fast race? Um, I just kind of blank everything out. Uh, I tune everything out. I don't, I don't really hear anything. I just try and focus on, I visualize my race and just try and focus on doing everything I can to just get down and back as fast as possible. That's a dangerous man, people, a man with no thoughts. So you and the team are preparing now for the second half of the season with the training trip to Florida to start the things off in January. How important is the, tra the training trip for the team and you personally? Uh, training trip's the hardest part of the year. It's when we do the longest practices, the most difficult practices. We do doubles during it. So we swim in the morning and then go back to like the hotel and then we swim again later in the day. So it's definitely a grind, but it's also the most time we have like as a team to bond and stuff. So it's really good for the team as a whole in terms of swimming and like team culture and yeah. Yeah, definitely. You're going to be in Florida, too, so you're going to see some crazy things. Might see a dinosaur or something, right? So you are a PT major here at NAS. What inspired you to enter the PT field? Uh, I injured my hip when I played soccer and had to do some PT, and that kind of, like, opened me up to the field. And I want to do something in sports, so kind of figured PT would be the way to go, and I love it here. Yeah, definitely, man. I got bad knees. We, we're getting old, bro. Yeah. So you're one of the big vets on the team, right? So what are some knowledge that you could pass on like to the younger kids? Just trying to stay positive. Not every meet is going to go your way. Not every race. You have to get a personal best in. So staying positive throughout the whole season and then just working on little things during practice. Just try my best to help the underclassmen work on small things so they can get better over time. There we go, that quarterback answer, right? Three things in life that's promised. Death, taxes, and you watch an athlete of the week. Till next time.